Hello and welcome to MB Tech. Today we'll be going over the installation of the free IPA client on a CentOS 7 system. Basically what we did yesterday was we actually set up the free IPA server, uh, which is going to be your uh, main or master uh, server for DNS, adding systems, all that uh, kind of administrative stuff for a network uh, system. This is great for a small business or a large business. Um, it actually does use underlying LDAP. Um, so what we need to do is we actually need to log on to the server, uh, the master server, the free IPA server itself, and add a DNS record for the box that we want to add to the actual domain itself. Um, so we'll need to log in and SSH into the box. Okay, once we're in there, what we need to do now is actually add the server that we want to the DNS server records, um, and then uh, that should get the system into the IPA uh, DNS server with all of the things that we need to do to add the system. So we're going to do an IPA DNS record add, and then we're going to have to do the domain. So it's being lab.local. And you have to remember the period at the end. If you don't remember the period at the end, you might get some errors or the name won't be correct in the DNS server itself. So make sure you add that, that period at the end. That's just the root. Just need to make sure it's there. And then you're actually going to put the uh, name of the, the server. So we're just server1. And then once again, remember that uh, trailing period there. And then what type of record? It's going to be an A record. And then the IP address. So this is the 10.11.1.160 for that box. And then hit enter. Okay, it says that the record name has been added, server 1. It's an A record, 10.11.1.60. Okay, next what we can do is we can verify that the DNS record has been added by logging into the web GUI. Um, so here it's the admin that we set up previously. Once we log in, we're going to go to Network Services at the top, DNS, DNS Zones, and it's going to be the big Bing Lab Zone. And you can see here that we here's the record that we added, Server 1 and the IP address, and it's an A-type record. Okay, once that's done, now all we need to do is actually go to the client itself. So we will need to exit out of the server, SSH into the client server, And now we're logged into the server uh, that we want to add to the uh, main main DNS uh, server, LDAP, and all our stuff. So what we need to do here is we first need to check the uh, Etsy host file. And we can delete the IP6 double D to get rid of that if you're using VI. And then in here what we want to do is we actually want to put in the name of the IPA server and the IP address. So it's 10.11.1.20. Name of the server is IPA server onebinglablocal And then we also want to put in our own server. Okay, once that's in, we can do a write and quit. So our host file has been updated and we should be good to go from there. Next thing we need to do is actually install the free IPA client. So we'll do a yum install. And just to put a yes so that it automatically doesn't ask me for that. OK, 
okay client software has been installed it has not been configured yet but that's what we're going to be doing next next we need to do, do ipa client install so it's just ipa install and then here we need to do the host name server one uh, after that we want to make sure it does a make home directory the IPA servers name that's IP the server is the IPA server one dot bing lab dot local the domain that's not at least the realm Okay, so we've got the client installed. It's going to do the host name, make directory server, IPA server name, domain, and then the realm. Um, this is just talking about failover. We only have a single server right now, so this is, is fine. We can say that uh, we want to um, continue with that, so that'll be a yes. And it's just showing a summary of what we're going to be doing. So everything looks good there. And we're going to configure the systems we value. So we'll say yes. Wants to know the user. This is the admin user. Or if you created another system account, you could do that. So this will be the admin. And then the password. It'll be the same user account that you use to uh, log into your uh, IPA server itself. Okay, says that the IPA client install command was successful. Um, so everything looks good on the client side for right now. Um, so what we're going to do back is we're going to go back to the Identity Manager web GUI. And then if we go into here, if we go to host, we should now see the host. And there it is, server 1 MB local. So there's all the information on that host. You can add a whole bunch of different information like description, class, location, platform, operating system. So you can pull some pretty cool reports if you can fill all that stuff in. Um, but that's just a real quick uh, setup of that uh, on there. Um, so the next thing we need to do is since we are on the client itself is we're going to want to make sure that it has the enable make home directory on there as well. Now we, we did it to the server but now we're actually going to set it up on the server itself so that it can create those so it's just going to be an auth config enable make home directory and then an update okay now the auth config has been uh, configure to enable make home directories. Now we're actually going to go log in to the server using an account that's created in the IPA uh, server itself. So we can go to the identity manager server and we can see here if you go to identity and users we've got mbing and that's just an account that was created on there. So we're going to be logging into that uh, client server with this account. So we'll exit this quick clear and then now we're going to SSH and Bing at 10.11.1.160 it's asking for its password so we're going to put in the password and it created the home directory for mbing and we're in the box so if we look at the box I am logged into 10.11.1.160 with an LDAP account that was created on the IPA server hope you enjoyed this this is setting up the IPA client on a CentOS 7 server if you would, please, please like, subscribe, 
and I'll try to answer any questions that you have, or if there's anything you want me to cover, I'll be more than glad to. Thank you, and have a great day.